Hi there, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to find the intersection points of two different circles with different radiuses. With the maths derived in this video, you will be able to replicate this graph right over here on Desmos. As you can see, even if I change where these circles are, right, these intersections still appear. With that said, let's dive into the work and see you on the other side. Okay, so let's start by defining the equations of the two circles and also the line that cuts through their intersections. The equation of the first circle is this and the equation of the second circle is this. They have different centers and different radiuses and the line cutting through their intersections is of the form y equals mx plus c. Now under these circumstances, for the line y equals mx plus c, m is going to have the value p minus a over b minus q, and c is going to have this long value right over here. If you'd like to know why for this line m is equal to this and c is equal to this, then watch my previous video about how to derive the line that cuts through the intersection of two different circles. I've left a link to that video just below this one, so click on that link if you'd like to watch the video and find out how this line is derived. Okay, so we know what this line is, and we know where it cuts the green circle, okay? So if we plug this value of y into this equation over here, to the left, what we can get is a quadratic equation which gives us the x-coordinates of these intersections right over here. Once we have these x coordinates, we can find the y coordinates, okay? And we have the complete coordinates of these two intersections over here. So we're now looking for the intersection points of the two different circles. We have this equation here, which is the equation of one of the circles. And we also have the equation of the line which cuts through the intersections. Now, if we replace the y in here with mx plus c, what we can get is a quadratic equation for x, which gives us the x coordinates of the intersections. Okay, let's give this a go then. If we do that, we get this equation over here. And if we expand and send r squared to the other side of the equation, we get this. And if we expand further, we get this equation over here below. And from here, we can get the quadratic equation for x. Okay, so we want to be in a position where we can form a quadratic equation. So what we do from here is collect the coefficients. And from here we get this equation over here. And these coefficients, okay, can be regarded as a, b, and c. And if we have the equation right over here, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, we can get the value of x for those intersections. Okay, we're going to get the x coordinates of the intersections. If we say that large A is 1 plus m squared, large B is this, and large C is this, from this equation over here, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, we get this value of x, minus b, plus or minus, 
the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, let's call this value large x because we can plug this in to y equals mx plus c to get the y coordinates of the intersections. I know there's a lot of compression going on, but ultimately, with this value of large x here, we get the coordinates of the intersections. That is large x for x and m times large x plus c for y. Now the best place to test out these equations is on Desmos. Okay, so the value of large a can be seen over here along with large b, large c, okay, and we've made large x equal to this, okay, and if we plug that large x into mx plus c, we get the y coordinates of the intersections, okay, and as you can see over here, these points are the intersections. So when I switch them off, you don't see them on the graph. And when I switch them on, they appear. There's a link to this graph just below this video. So you can play around with it if you'd like. Okay, so it's been a pleasure sharing this content with you. For more of my maths work, visit mathematics.proofs on Instagram. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.